हेलो गाइस इन दिस वीडियो लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ वी कैन चूज अ करेक्ट पार्टीशन की सो एज अ थम रूल वी शुड सिलेक्ट अ पार्टीशन की सच दैट डेटा इन अ कंटेनर इट शुड बी इक्वली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड अक्रॉस द पार्टीशन सो फर्स्ट लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज अ गुड पार्टीशन की एंड वॉट इज अ बैड पार्टीशन की एंड लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इट विथ एन एग्जाम्पल सो अगेन इमेजिन वी हैव अ कंटेनर दैट इज सी यूजर्स एंड it contains the information about the users okay and imagine we have three logical partitions in this container that is c user so logical partition 1 logical partition 2 and logical partition 3 and here we have selected partition key as name okay so in first logical partition we have say 1 2 3 such so such imagine we have 50 records with name john in second logical partition we have only one record because we have only one user with name harshal and in third logical partition imagine we have 10 records with name mark okay and here you can see the data is not equally distributed across these partitions so definitely name is not a good partition key so instead of selecting name as a partition key we can select email id or user id as a partition key and because most probably email id and user id it will be unique for each user and because it is unique that means data will be equally distributed across the logical partitions now the next point is what if we cannot decide partition key so in that case we can add partition key with property partition key so guys i know it's confusing and it's difficult to understand so in simple words what we can do is see here we have selected name as a partition key or here email id or user id will be a better partition key as we discussed but it's not necessary that only property which is related to that entity in that container only such property should be a partition key so in that so it's not necessary that user id or name or email id so only related properties should only be the uh, partition key but any irrelevant property that can also be a partition key so what we can do in this case is so imagine this is our id of a record which is stored in a container so again it's an id which is a grid so what we can do is we can take first two characters that is x and y as a value of partition key and we can add a property with name partition key as a partition key so again uh, we had name as a partition key over here so in that case we can add a property with name partition key as a partition key and value uh, and value of that partition key column it will be xy for one record so it may be say 0 1 that means first two characters of a grid and finally when we are uh choosing a partition key we have to also uh, take care of if uh, our do our cosmos container is it a write heavy or read heavy operation so for example if it is a read heavy operation then uh, we can choose a partition key based on a property which will appear in our where clause so for example say in that case uh, we can either choose email id or user id as a partition key but if we have most of the queries if they are going to have a condition like where email id is equal to xyz then in that case we can choose email id as a partition key so that's it guys and in our next video we will discuss about hot partitions so in case if you have not correctly chosen our partition key it will result in hot partitions so we will discuss hot partition and disadvantages of hot partition in our next video so thank you guys